All right, in this video, this is part three to the Unsplash Gallery series. And what we're gonna focus on here is taking this topic we have, touching any of these thumbnails, and then ultimately having that thumbnail become a higher res image and showing up on our custom live wallpaper as our background. Before I dive into it, I'm gonna take this group of thumbnails, I'm going to position it in the center of the screen. And the reason I'm doing that, I want to see some more text up here as I show you the things I'm gonna be doing in this tutorial. So heading back to root, going to text, and let's just add another piece here to our text. Let's do GV num. Now I mentioned that global in part one, I mentioned it briefly, but now it's going to become very important in order for us to touch a thumbnail and have it become our background. So checking on that, GVNum's not returning anything, and that is probably because I don't have it set to anything. So I'm just gonna set it to a number. It does not matter, trust me. So some random number, it is showing there, but what I want to happen is this. If I touch on this first image, I want it to return a zero. If I touch on this one over here, I want it to return a four. Remember, zero, one, two, three, four. I encourage you to go back and check out part one. I went over that probably half a dozen times talking about the indexes of these pictures. But I want it to start at zero and then down here, how many ever pictures we have showing minus one. So we have five, 10, 15, 20. This right here should have an index of 19. So let me show you how we can do that and change this number up here. So heading back to my items, heading into those thumbnails. Now, what we're gonna have to do here, you may be thinking, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Yes, I'm going to delete those three rows. I'm gonna go into that row of thumbnails there and I'm going to delete all but one. But folks, we can fix this super fast with the power of SI module index. Let me go into this single square here, this single thumbnail, and when we touch this, we want to trigger a global. So we're gonna to toggle a global switch. The switch we're gonna to toggle is num, and then here's the code. Now back in part one, I went over this SI module index stuff in detail on how we get those indexes to show up. And that code is gonna be SI module index, but we wanted to look at the parent's parent, that's that comma one, we multiplied it by five back in part one, and then we added another SI module index of its parent. This is what will give us zero through 19. Since I have 20 images of thumbnails, or I'm gonna have 20 images right here in a second, each thumbnail will have its own individual index. But since I'm putting this in a touch to toggle num, the global variable num is going to become that index. Let me back out of here real quick. The touch is already applied. And if I actually touch this, watch what happens. Boom, it goes to zero. Now what we can do inside of this stack group of thumbnails, I'm going to copy that one right there. I'm going to paste it four times. So we have five images here. So let's go ahead and check them. Zero, there's our one, watch, two, three, Four. Fantastic. It's working perfect. Now, the reason why that code was the way it was, I explained this back in part one. I'm going to copy that entire row. I'm going to paste it three times for a total of 20 images. And I mentioned a moment ago, since there's 20 images, this should have an index of 19. Tapping on that, check it out. Now that we have done this, we can access that number global to get the ID of that thumbnail, and then we're going to use that ID to get a high res image of our wallpaper. Now, I can't really remember if I did show you this, but if I come back in here to the thumbnail size, the thumbnail size is 120 by 120. Let me change this to something very low, say 20 by 20. Watch what's going to happen to our thumbnails. Now it may not update quickly here. Oh, there's one. Look, you see them starting to change. They're ultra low res right now. You can see some of them starting to change and load up. And I think that's too low of a resolution for our thumbnails. So 120 by 120, or just make it something that still loads fast and is still clear enough. Now some of these should start to clear back up because I up that resolution. But now our wallpaper size. So what we have to do here, when we tap on these, 
we're going to grab its ID and we're going to send that over to the wallpaper and we're going to get this resolution. Now, how do we do all that? And it's not as bad as you think. And what I'm going to show you here is that I'm going to go grab this ID zero. Tap on that. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to back out of here and I'm going to add a new text global. For this text global, I'm going to call it ID zero for our zero topic and I'm going to put a W for my wallpaper. That way this one is going to be different than just the regular ID zero. Text global, press OK. So I copied this ID zero. That's what's getting the ID for each individual thumbnail. I'm going to come down here to ID zero wall. I'm going to paste this in here, but we have to change some stuff. And you may say, oh no, what do we have to change? Well, this SI module index that I used for triggering num, that's what was getting used to show each individual thumbnail. Well, when we tap on one of these thumbnails, we're going to get one individual index, one individual number. So all I have to do here is where that SI module index stuff was, change that to GV num and make sure I have my parentheses matched up right. So this is going to get an individual ID based on whatever thumbnail we tapped on. And to show you that, I'm going to go to my items, go to my text, and I'm going to add that global there. This is really cool. Check this out. So I'm going to check on that. Let me go back to my zero. Notice the ID changed. And it actually matches that one right there because that was ID zero. But I tell you what, let me click on this guy with the shirt on. So this has an index of one and we have a different ID. Let me back out of here and see what topic I am on. I already forgot. The topic I am on is the business work. So I'm going to click on business work over here at Unsplash. There's that same guy tapping on that. And let's make sure these IDs are working right. So the ID of that guy with the shirt on is that one right there. That works perfect. Uh, let's try the scissors here. Tapping on that. Got a new ID. Tapping on that image over here. Same ID matches. And now that we have that ID, we're going to head to this other URL where we can put in that custom resolution that we want. We want a high res wallpaper right now because we're getting ready to shoot this thumbnail to a wallpaper. And obviously we want it bigger than 120 by 120. We're actually going to make it 3000 by 3000. So guess what we're going to do here? We're going to come down here to thumb zero. This is where we went to the source.unsplash.com. I'm going to copy this back out of here, and I'm going to add yet another text global. And instead of calling it thumb zero, I'm going to call it wall zero. Press OK. And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to paste that in. And guess what we got to change? We don't want to use ID zero anymore. We want to do ID zero of our wallpaper. And that's that new text global we just created a moment ago. And we don't want to use the thumbnail size. We want to do GV wall size. So 3000 by 3000. This will take a little bit of time to load. And obviously we need to apply this to our background. So for type, I'm going to go to image. And for pick image, I'm going to apply that text global that we just created. The wall zero. Check on that. And it's going to take a second to load. I'm just going to save this and apply it to my wallpaper. Or there you have it. So we still have the text showing up here, but uh, let's click on a few more of these. Try this one with the desktop here. So notice it does say nine, and then we have a new ID for that thing. And I'm sitting here talking. There it goes. It's loaded up. Now, here's the deal. I've mentioned this, I think, in both part one and part two. I tried to do this where I didn't have to duplicate these globals because the more topics you add, if you want to add another topic in here, which we're going to do in part four to this series because we got to talk about animating, but I'm saving that for the end because most of y'all can probably animate. But creating our buttons here so that we can cycle, we have to create individual groups of each thumbnail. That's the only way I could get these thumbnails to update accurately. My brain wanted to do it much more simplistic where I would only have to have this one set of globals that we've created so far and then we could use another global to kind of like change those but it did not update right. These thumbnails did not update right. I don't know why. It seems like this used to work but this is the way that works now. 
And I mean, it took what? Three or four or five seconds for that wallpaper to load up. This is a 3000 by 3000 image. I don't think it's that bad. And then as you add more categories into here, more topics, when I show you how to create these buttons to cycle back and forth between them, they update just like that. So yes, we are going to be duplicating work in part four, but we have the groundwork set up now. The main things I want to show you next are how to cycle through these correctly, animate this gallery off the screen, and then, you know, once we're done with that, you have your Unsplash Gallery. And there you have it, part three to the Unsplash Gallery series. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.